Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're kickstarting your work week off strong. Today we're talking about 12 chemicals that you might use, run into, or see in an automotive shop. Be it a dealership, independent, or lube and tire. First things first, I want to thank... <clears throat> Three, two, one. First things first, I want to thank those over at Fluid Film for sending me out their product to test and do a review on and see how we like using it at the independent shop. This is a rust and corrosion protection against all metals, linoleum based, superior lubricant, no solvents, long lasting, non-toxic or hazardous, supposed to stop corrosion from salt and moisture. Lubricate and stops chains from freezing, stops battery corrosion, and keeps locks from freezing, and much, much more. They sent me their little brochure, little tidbit from there. Did get a chance to use it today. Had a car that came in, uh, had some pretty rusty rotors on them, wouldn't free up. And instead of going to our PB Blaster, and I'll put a picture down here, decided to try out this uh, fluid film. Got a nice little spray on there. A little bit of heat, was able to give it a couple of wackadooskies and it came on off, so that's good stuff. Next product up you're gonna see is a little engine degreaser that we bought from Napa, kind of replacing the one that we got from Gunk, which you can buy at O'Reilly's. This one I think is made by Max, and it works about the same, so I would say of equal or same quality. Another one's gonna be brake spray. Now I know they have brake spray and everyone's got their own thing. When I worked at the Chrysler dealership, we had some that had the Mopar, emblem on it. I know that when I worked at the uh, Lube and Tire Shop, we had O'Reilly cans, uh, but we buy ours from some commercial company. So they're, it's made by Johnson's and we use this brake spray. Only thing that I know that sucks when using uh, cans of brake spray, no matter who makes it, is once you get it at a weird angle, it doesn't exactly shoot, but you might run into some brake cleaner. So always make sure to wear your protective gloves. WD-40. You're going to use WD-40. WD-40 comes in handy for lots of different things. Again, kind of like the same purpose that this fluid film's meant for as far as uh, penetrating oil, some kind of lubricant. So when you're using uh, drill bits, you're doing a slow drill, you might spray a shot or two on your drill bits as you're drilling. So WD-40 has definitely come in handy. Uh, this seems to be a, a multi-purpose spray, so we're going, to, we're going to run through the paces, see how it does. Another one, you're going to see a couple of products here by uh, Permatex is thread, thread Lock or Loctite. Okay, we got red and blue here. Use them uh, in automotive. We also have some Permatex aluminum anti seize. This is for fasteners and stuff, not to be used with spark plugs. And we got some pipe joint stuff as well. So uh, if you get the pipes that go into the water pump, you need to retrace them. Instead of using that Teflon tape, you can use this kind of stuff or find some other Permatex Teflon compound. Another one's gonna be ATF. So I have it a little oil spray can here. I think I picked this can up from AutoZone. Uh, it actually made it a little bit easier for me to spray a shot into cylinders when I'm doing wet compression tests. So I like using ATF. It's what I was taught to use. I'm sure you can use a little shot of engine oil too. Um, but I use ATF because sometimes there's some awkward spots that I wanna get into uh, that I like using ATF for. Also when it comes to drilling, I like using ATF when it comes to using drill bits as well. Another one here, now that's, this, there's a, I know that CRC makes a few of these. Uh, this one's specifically for mass airflow cleaners. Then you have another one that you can use for electronic cleaner. Uh, it's like an electronics cleaner you can spray on electrical connectors. I know some guys use brake cleaner. I like using the can for what it's for, okay? I don't typically like using brake cleaner to clean mass airflow sensors, uh, and I don't typically like using brake cleaner to clean up electrical connectors and, and wires and things like that. So I like these sprays. They're a little bit costly, but you don't need the whole can. You can get away with just using a shot here and there as you need it. Burnzomatic uh, butane. You're gonna use this to fill up your little power probe, soldering iron if you have one, or maybe a little torch if you got a torch, but you're gonna use butane. Butane comes in handy. Another one here, just tossing in just as a joke really, but Monster Energy drinks, right? I know a lot of uh, mechanics that rely on some kind of energy drink to kind of kickstart their morning after that cup of coffee. Well guys, those are the chemicals that I currently use in the automotive shop. I'm sure there's a handful that I'm missing or didn't list. Feel free to toss a few down into the comments of what you guys use. Maybe out in the Rust Belt, you guys use something a little bit differently than we do. 
Uh, I know you guys are always talking about that torch. Let's talk about sprays and different kinds of chemicals that maybe I didn't cover today. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to those of you that have your beers. See you next time. Deuces.